Hey, we're back. This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and we're back with Jeff's Panasonic RF-537. Now, I started to do a video on this a couple of days ago, and the batteries, he left the batteries in. That's, that's a big, big no-no. I've done it myself, and if you leave batteries in a radio for an extended period of time, maybe even just a month, they will leak and they will make a mess. And so he had left the batteries in there. They had corroded really bad. And so I've been cleaning them up. It, it's still not perfect. It needs more cleaning, but I want to leave that to Jeff. And I'll see if I can quickly show you the insides now compared to what it was. Okay, this area here, this is a spring end. This battery had leaked all the way down to here. And it down here, it was massive corrosion. I spent about a half hour cleaning it. Still not perfect. Still needs to like uh, use a toothpick or a dental pick and pick up all the fine stuff that's just heavily ingrained in the connection here. But it's cleaned up enough that it is working now, and I'm going to try to show it to you. So I can get this cover back on. But it, it happens, you know. I, like I say, I've done it on two or three radios. I've learned that certain batteries are worse than others as far as leaking. And you just, if you have any inkling, you're not going to use a radio for a while. In other words, it's going to sit on, sit on the uh, shelf and maybe get a little warm or something from the environment. Take the batteries out. Play it safe. Take the batteries out. Because lots of times, or a number of times, the leak of the corrosive material can get down inside the radio and damage the circuitry. And then you just have to throw the radio away or find somebody to do an expensive repair on it. Anyway, this is an AM FM portable radio. It's AC and DC. DC uses two AA batteries, fresh batteries that don't leak. Um, on the front we have here the band selection, uh, a, excuse me, on off, either AC or battery, and then the volume control over here is the tuning knob and uh, that is, I forgot already, that is the earphone jack. Um, gosh, my memory is so bad. And on here, we have the band selection right here. Now notice that it does not have the external type telescopic antenna. It's the, cut, the kind that reads seeds down inside the case which I prefer, they're less likely to get damaged. This one is about hmm, 30 inches, kind of short. But we're only talking AM and FM here. Nice big dial, easy to read. See if I can hold it up and get the glare off of it. This is made for the US, so it has the standard US AM and FM bands. And we'll do a quick tuning test here. Let's turn it on. So we'll use this power button right here. Go to battery. Oh, turn the volume down. I guess I bumped the volume. And we'll go to the end of, we're in the AM mode. We'll go to the end of the band. Nice, easy to read dial. Sorry for the reflections. Turn the volume back up a little bit. Uh, I think that it's a hard to swallow, but that's nice big speaker. That we have to be rather open about that we don't know when this will end. Tune's and real smooth. It's analog, it's not DSP. Oh, what your volume? You get that tuned in. There you go. Get off that music. I get up a lot of stations, even here in my office. Finals goes down and take the profit out of this. Little tinny. Channel six. 
plenty of volume. I gotta turn that down. Lots of volume. Not only will the assessment and blood flow ultrasound be. Yeah, it's picking up a lot of uh, medium wave stations. Wireless broadband internet service. We'll go through this quickly. Okay, that's the end of the band. Now we'll go to the back and switch. It's a little inconvenient. Not a big deal. You're going to switch the bands that often. Okay, now we're back over here. And we're at the top of the FM band. And we'll go down. Let's turn the volume up. Uh-oh. Not doing too good on FM. Let's turn the volume up some more. Maybe we don't have a good switch connection. Let's turn the volume down. And I'll flip that switch again. Couple of, oh, yep, that's it. Okay. There we go. Yep. Probably haven't been changed to a while in a while. We start at the end of the band. I think. Uh, believe it or not, hold on one second here. Oh yeah, my mistake. I was because well, it's a little touchy on that switch back there. There we go. I. Yeah, that switch is a little touchy. I had, uh, I had thought I had switched it to the AM band, and apparently it wasn't quite in that position. It was still in the FM position. So what this the scan was the previous scan that I did was FM. So it was receiving a ton of FM stations. It's now, and then I, when I switched it to what I thought was FM, I got a lot of background noise, and I'm gonna go, I don't normally get that on FM. That sounds like AM. Well, it was AM. So now, to confuse everybody, I am on AM, and we'll turn the volume back up. Little noisy here on the volume control. So we're on medium wave. And now it's struggling in my office. That makes sense. And of course it's directional. Yeah, see there? Yeah, that's better. Okay, so it's doing it's doing okay on let me turn it down. On uh AM, despite the uh RF noise in my office. Again, directional and in order to receive here in my office, I have to turn it this way, which then you can't see the dial. So that's what the problem was. <laughs> that was the other problem I was having. I'll tell you, I'm struggling. I'm really struggling. This COVID junk has really messed me up. I, I don't have serious symptoms, but the weakest, the, the most, the strongest symptom I have is my mind is kind of screwed up. Uh, and I'm very weak. Anyway, I'm struggling, so bear with me. Uh, I want to thank Jeff for loaning me these radios to show you. This one, uh, we, we had a little struggle with the battery, and then the switches appeared to be needing cleaning. Like the band switch, as you saw, I thought I was in one band, and I was in the other one, and then when I switched, I get, didn't get anything, so that needs to be cleaned too. That would require taking the radio apart. The volume control also is a, see, it's touchy. So volume control also needs cleaning. So it basically needs uh, to clean out all the contacts, finish cleaning that uh, one terminal that was corroded really bad. I mean, it was corroded so bad, I couldn't tell that this, 
it was the spring end. The spring was completely glowed, uh, covered with corrosion. Um, luckily, it looks like the spring is totally intact. Uh, sometimes the corrosion will be so bad that it'll eat right through the spring and the spring will fall out. Then you're kind of out of luck there. Anyway, I want to thank you for watching and bearing with my confusion and brain fog. Uh, hopefully, I'll start getting better. And I've got oh, at least a dozen more radios from Jeff to show you. Um, and I've got two over-the-air TV devices to show you that I have not shown you. So we got a lot to look forward. And I'm thinking about buying that new Panasonic. Um, I think it's the... Well, I forgot the number. The, the brand new one, it's about $235. So I'm thinking about buying that with uh, some of the commissions I made from the sales on Amazon. I want to thank everybody for shopping my Amazon store. Uh, it's really gone ballistic since I started doing Amazon videos. So you can go to Amazon and watch my videos that are sp specifically made for Amazon. And they're on all kinds of products, not just radio and radio accessories. Thing, heart monitors and stuff like that that I purchased and did a review on. I babbled enough. Hopefully the next show I'll be a little better. <laughs> Hopefully. Hang in there. Have a great day. Bye-bye.